ba -ba -da -ba. Hello. Right, so <clears throat> hopefully, Kiri keeps telling me every time we do this that I don't leave it long enough between. Uh, it's all gone blank. The screen's gone blank. I don't know if you can see me. Oh, you can. Okay, so Kiri keeps telling me that I don't leave it long enough between pressing go and starting talking because there's some adverts come up. So hopefully I've left it long enough on that one. I'll leave you a couple more seconds while you kind of, you know, get yourself comfortable. Okay, so. <clears throat> Uh, before we go any further, what I'd like to say to you about tomorrow night. Okay, so tomorrow night I'm going to be doing a uh, live Q and A session. So if you have a question, uh, I'll mention it again, uh, probably in the middle and at the end. But if you have a question uh, about anything to do with free diving, um, then we're going to do the question live. So we're going to run it as a session will start post your question and then I'll answer it live so hopefully it will work there's a bit of a, a, a delay between me speaking and, and you seeing it so um, we'll see what we can do uh, tomorrow okay so tonight I've just put up a, a little video there um, uh, about free fest about the animals we see in uh, in free fest during free fest um, but what I hang on a sec, I'm just clipping around, clipping around. Just copy that. So I wanted to talk about Free Fest. It looks like Free Fest is going to happen this year. There's no reason why it shouldn't. Uh, well, there's one very big reason why it shouldn't. But it's um, in the 17th of July. Uh, it's a Friday, and I personally feel that um, lockdown will be softened enough that we can go to uh, free fest uh, in july so we're what halfway through may lockdown softening up so um uh, free fest if you don't know it's held down in cornwall and we have a um, campsite in a red Ruth, which is about halfway between the north and the south coast and we literally go on um uh, on Magic Seaweed, which is a surfing app, a website app that tells you where surf is. And wherever the surf is, we go to exactly the opposite place. So a fantastic app if you're if you're into surfing at all, and I believe it works uh, worldwide, but we use it down in Cornwall. So it gives you a nice comprehensive um, idea of what the winds and the waves are doing the whole, around the whole of Cornwall. So we stay in Red Roof, and if there's a surf on the south, then we go north. If there's surf on the north, we go south. Um, and sometimes, if we're really lucky, we can go, sorry, we go that way for you. Uh, it'll be um, down um, to the west, to the land's end, etc., etc. And there's some incredible dive sites on all of the coasts. So we go down there. Uh, we've got a campsite, which is just a massive field, so we can have 30, 50 tents there, so we can easily take, uh, you know, 100 people on the campsite. But the dive sites, then we uh, traipse off in the morning and go to out-of-the-way locations. So some of them are hard to get to as in we need to abseil down to get to them some of them are um yeah, just just not very known about uh, but none of them are beaches you know sandy beaches with loads of people that's just not where we go um partly because that's not really what i you know kind of i want to take I, places i don't want to pe take people but also we want to get rocky places where the, the sea goes off a little bit there's a little bit of depth doesn't have to be particularly deep but that's where you're going to get the fish and the seals and uh, interesting things we've had dolphins down there we've seen porpoise a few times and basking sharks we've had down there um and that's it so six days seven days um looking at the calendar now we go down on the 17th of July 
and we are there um, till the 26th, something like that. So we've actually got, you know, 10 days of, of camping and free diving. And I say, I reckon by then uh, campsites will be unlocked and um, we'll be able to kind of, you know, kind of dive down there. So if you're interested in coming to Free Fest, um, I'll put the link in the description. I didn't get it up in time. So there's a, a booking form. Fill out when you're coming down. Fill in your information. We're not taking deposits this year uh, because for obvious reasons. Um, and yeah, come down and enjoy it. We're, if we get enough people, we split the group into uh, difficult dives and easy dives. And uh, you know, if you, if you don't fancy climbing down rock faces on a rope, then don't go for the difficult dive. Um, but most of the places we go to, and this is the joy, and this is this is actually what I want to talk about tonight. The joy of of no tanks is the fact that when we find a dive site that we say is good, sometimes we find a dive site that we call good and it's you know incredible earth shattering beautiful and only certain people can get there but most of our dive sites are classed as good because there's a whole range of things there so for instance if we go to cave of death uh, down in cornwall during free fest there's a dive site we call cave of death which has got uh, the cave of death which you know most people don't really want to go in the, the cave of death so you can go around the back of the cave of death and there's um there's a jacuzzi so if there's a, any swell at all you can go in a jacuzzi and just have fun in that and you don't leave the surface you don't leave the surface uh, it's just a whirlpool in in rock just around the back of there there's uh the the fish pond the fish pond the fish bowl which is a whole series of rocks and swim throughs and they're like maybe the shallowest, maybe three meters, down to maybe eight meters, something like that. But you do one swim through, that's fine. You you kind of you win. You're you're like, way I've done a swim through. You may if you if you're uh, you know kind of facing the right direction, you might go through a swim through and then see another one and be able to go through that. And so you can do two or three swim throughs, three or four swim throughs in one dive if you want. On the other side of the peninsula um, is Carlsberg, which is probably the greatest swim through in the world. And that's a bit tough to get to. Um, you know, you have to get changed on a, a bit of a rock face, but the swim through is worth it. So they, they've got a dive site there. And if, if, I took, if I took 30 people there and we had, you know, uh, like, a few instructors, two instructors, three instructors, and four or five uh, seniors, we could get 30 people in that, that location, all diving, having the most amazing time, no matter what level they're at, all having an amazing time, and not keep bumping into each other. And that's just one dive site in Cornwall. And that's why we say Cave of Death is one of our best dive sites, because we've got the, the range. You go at high tide, there's dives we can do that are really tough. There's dives we can do that are really easy. You go at low tide, there's some dives that you can do that are really tough. And there's some dives you can do really easy. So, you know, we've got both, all options. Okay. So that's that's what we feel, that's what free, that's what No Tanks is about. And I was looking through the um, IADA um, uh, manuals, yeah. And because I wanted to, after we did the, the theory on Friday, I wanted to talk about IADA and, and SSI and Amateur Academy, etc., etc. And and I, the main difference between the, the way I tell people, the main difference is that IADA, etc., uh, etc., et they give you things that they want to see you have done, get ticked off. Whereas no tanks, we say, we'll teach you how to do those things, not We'll get you to do them, but we'll teach you how to do them. And this just a slight shift in the way we perceive kind of training progression. And and I, I was thinking earlier today, that's that's all very good, but what what is the real difference? And the real difference is that if you set 
a goal say 15 meters 16 meters 25 meters 30 meters deep you may never get to those depths so instantly you failed and I've never liked that idea with a sport that I enjoy so much and so many other people come with us and I was looking through the videos earlier today and that's why I put that link up I've got another link for you in a minute but we enjoy it so much and I don't want people to kind of fail because I don't make a depth so it's about the journey it's about learning it's about trying to do these things and one of the videos that I'm, I'm gonna in fact I'm gonna put it up now in the in the in the comments it's about a magic well that we found in Cornwall during free fest that's got nothing to do with free diving it's somebody told us we were a megalithic structure there was maybe uh, what's this four of us five six seven of us something like that megalithic structure and the lady said oh have you been to the magic well no we haven't been to the magic well where is it oh it's down there so we went down this road that she said and we're looking for a magic well there's nothing there like there's nothing there um except a little path and we're like well we you know we're here we'll just go down this little path so we park up and we start walking down this little path and as we're walking down this little path, there's, I, I don't know how to describe it. A path gives it way too much kind of uh, grandiose. There was some sort of mud kind of that looked like somebody had once been along that way. Uh, and Louise just went, I'm not going down there. You, you, what are you like? I'm going to go check out down here. So Louise went one way and we went the other way. And we were climbing over on branches to get over big mud puddles and, and people have put planks of wood down somewhere so by this time we're going well somebody somebody wants to go down this path this isn't just a path that people have been down this people want to go down it so we're climbing and swinging from trees to get to this place and we ended up at this little pond tiny little pond which clearly julian had to do a static breath hold in to make it free diving, therefore it's for no tanks, and therefore we could film it. And and you know, we discovered this this kind of magic well, and and it's got history about witches and the, the life giving force of this fresh water that comes out in here, and it's beautifully fresh, and you can drink it. That's fine, you know. Wow, we we found it. We you know we win, we win. We get back to you know climb over to all the mud and stuff, and we get back to this to the. the path if you want to call it that I went oh no Louise's Louise went the other way and she she missed it oh how, how'd you how'd you say this no 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 Louise is a no tank sir she's there happy as Larry going oh, I found it we're like no no we found it she goes well well I found it as well well like, what do you mean you found it sir? so she showed us what she found there was a kind of uh, two streams where they met and we found like kind of the source of it but this is where all the local pagans go and worship so she found this place that all these wishes and ribbons were tied to the trees uh, just everywhere you looked hundreds and hundreds of ribbons tied to trees with people like little trinkets and 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 people have written their wishes and their and their, and their thoughts and their loved ones and stuff all over it and it's just like amazing and we're like this is incredible and and she found it she was super happy we would have never have gone that way had 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 she not gone that way if she had come with us we would have found the little muddy puddle and well, it wasn't muddy it was crystal clear but the little puddle we would have been happy with her we found it had we gone her way we would have found this amazing location we we're like wow well, we would have found it but it took us both to go okay we're going that way we're going that way. we're going to find out where we're we found both and it was incredible and that's the link I've just put up and that's what no tanks is about and it's the same with our freediving we we go to freedive we don't go because it's this deep we don't go because it's this tough to get to we go because that's 
that's what we go for. And we go as a group. And the group enjoys it. And sometimes you get there and the person can't dive, whether they've got a cold or, 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 or you know, don't want to dive or something. And that's fine. That, that's absolutely fine. They're still there with us and they're still doing it and they're still in, interacting, enjoying and experiencing, experiencing that, that, thing, that thing. And I really thought, say, so going through the IA, the manual, thinking, well, yeah, is there more technical stuff that people might want to know? No, it, it. I really wanted to talk about what we do, just, just for ten minutes, just to talk about no tanks and what we do, and why we do it. We, we, it's just, yeah. That's it. That's all I want to say. So I put a link up about the us finding the, finding the fairy grotto uh, magic well, and. And I wanted to show uh, a video about FreeFest because it's coming up in July. It looks like it's going to happen. Uh, it's definitely more likely to happen than uh, than the Nice trip this last weekend because that didn't happen because we're here. <laughs> okay, so let's have a uh, have a quick look at at the video we made about FreeFest. Um, I kind of apologise about the uh, titles. I was, I was in a title phase when I was making this video. So it's six days of camping. That's our camping field. Massive field and massive tent we live in. That's the kind of rope that we climb down to get to the locations. That's Harry's Hole. Massive swim through. That's what it looks like. That's, what can I say, that's beautiful. We've had dolphins, blue sharks, oh yeah, and basking sharks and friends so that's us dancing uh, in the tent redbeard's red beard's ruin Freya sitting on a rock crystal clear waters massive caves seals have seals there you couldn't quite see them but they're all off the beaten track anyway I just wanted to I was hopefully, I wanted to try and pause it, but this program doesn't let me pause it. So that kind of gives you an idea. We've got swim throughs, Harry, Harry's hole, for instance. Oh, man. <sighs> let me tell you about Harry's hole. Now, I know I know some of you are tuning in from all around the world wanting to hear about, uh, you know, the next, the next thing about freediving. And I, I promise tomorrow we'll be back to exercises and theory and stuff about freediving. But tonight, no, I'm just going to tell you about us. So, by the way, tomorrow is question and answers. Any questions you've got about freediving, uh, hold them. Come online at uh, 7.30. Come online, put them in the, uh, in, in the chat, and I will answer the question and answers live. So please, please, in fact, please come along, because it will be really embarrassing if, if nobody has any questions. Um, okay. Uh, so let me tell you how we found Harry's hole. We were on the top of a, of a cliff looking down, and we saw some seals, and, and there's this beautiful beach. And we're like, oh yeah, we we want to get down there. And looking across the bay, there was a kind of uh, kind of green cliff type thing. We went, oh, is that path? Is that path down there? So we went along. Uh, a little way, and there was a break in the in the, in the bush, really thorny bush. We're like, yeah, it's, it's in here. So we go through. You have to put your hands above your head because it scratches your arms so bad. We're going through, and there's a there's a kind of gap, and in in, in like the bush, going pretty much steep, pretty steep down. And we're thinking, no, that's 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 not the way to go. At this moment, a family of four come up out of this hole. We're like. Oh, well, this is definitely the way family four went down there. Went, yeah, yeah, it goes a little way. We didn't go too far because we've got the little kids with us, you know, 10 year old kids. So we didn't go too far. Fine. So we go for it. We, they go past, we go down. And the next drop, it gets a bit steeper. And there's there's a rope. We're like, well, of course, if there's a rope, then people have been down there. We can go down there. So we go down the rope. We get to the bottom of the rope, and it gets a little bit steeper. And there's a bit of string. I don't know why there's a bit of string. It's the string's just to show it's not you're not hanging on a string. The string's not there to, to you know, help you live. 
So we're going down on the string and it's getting steeper and, and we are actually hanging on the string and we get to the bottom of that and there's a path off to the left. When I say path, there's a kind of break in the in the, the thorns and stuff to the left and off to the right there's not much but bushes very steep and two guys i believe it was ian and uh, uh stephen went off to the right and they were using their fins to chop away at the the, the thorns and the and the bushes to get down to the right we had a look around the left and there's a kind of a ledge or something and, and just but a dead end like cliff and it, those two are hacking away that thing there's a way down they said that thing there's a way down so we followed them so there's about six of us maybe seven of us following these two going down this that they're chopped away with their fin we got to the end and there's a kind of drop and they're like ian was like well i, I can go down we can we can climb down but i'm not sure i can climb back up Oh wow! Um, well, maybe you should. Maybe you should. It gone. It jumped out. Ah, oh, and Steve had gone with him. Oh my God! So they're down, and we're going. Well, we don't know where we can get, but we can see that the beach is just in front of us, like the hallowed beach, and it's beautiful. I mean, this is beautiful. Cliffs, straight vertical cliffs behind this, and we we and we're going. Oh well, they've gone down. Well. We'll just have to work out a way back up. We'll just have to do it. This this is it. We're doing it. And as we're just climbing over this, this kind of climb down, we all look up, all of us, simultaneously look up at the beach. And there's a naked man on a hallowed beach with a very small dog. And we all look at him going, how did that naked man with his dog get down to that beach? And we all watched him as he walked up to the cliffs and then turned onto the steps that were carved into the into the rock and just started walking up the steps all the way to the top. And we're like, we've nearly died going down here. And there's steps. And it was a nudist beach, and the, the nudists hide the steps so that people don't go down there and, and uh, interrupt their nudism. So that's why we couldn't find the steps. But now we know where the steps are, and we will show you on the proviso that you're not fussed by the nudists and we hide the steps and don't tell people where it is because you know and we dived it and it was pretty boring it's pretty rubbish actually i mean it's beautiful it's beautiful sand and a few rocks but it kind of goes out not too good but of course the next year we had to go back because we found this path and we wanted to show people the tar path you went down diving's not so good but we wanted to go down and um, we get down there, and, and I don't go in because it's sandy. It's not that good. Yeah. And Harry, uh, Kiri, and I think Ian, and a couple of others kind of went off, swimming off. And they found this swim through, straight through a massive rock that's sitting in the middle of the bay, called Harry's Hole, because apparently he was the one who found it, although there's arguments about it. And Clark's crack is next to it, and they are the best swim throughs they are just incredible so this place we found that we nearly died to get into we only went back because of the path then we find harry's hole next time we go we found uh find clark's crack the next time we went there we had seals and we were playing with seals this is what it's about this is what it's about we don't know what we're going to find but trying to find it is the important bit and when we find it is sweet Anyway, apparently there's a question on, on here. Uh, do what is near your house. Well, I just wanted to go no gi, but... Uh, oh, jiu-jitsu question. What? <laughs> right, so Oliver said, is that the place we went to when I was with you in Cornwall? Okay, so with you, Oliver, we went to... Um, we went to the other side of uh, Cave of Death. Um, yeah, that's it. The, the other side, we call it the other side of Cave of Death. Go to Cave of Death, go to the other side. 
Yeah, that's it. Uh, incidentally, we have a map, an ordnance survey map with our dive uh, locations marked on. And because Darren came once, uh, he didn't come in his Porsche, but he did have a Porsche at the time. Doesn't have a Porsche anymore. It's not fast enough for him. He's got Tesla, I believe. Uh, <laughs> so he had a Porsche. And we were joking, well, you can't get your Porsche down to this car park. You can't get your Porsche down. So our map has a little Porsche logo if you can get your car, a Porsche, to the car park. If it hasn't got a Porsche logo, then don't try and get your low-slung sports car down those paths. That's it. This is, this is, wow, this is how it should be. A map to tell you whether you can get your low-slung um, uh, sports car down to the car park. Anyway, I have chatted way too long Kiri keeps saying I waffle well tonight was my waffling and god damn it I enjoyed it so free fest come along July uh, we're there for a week you can come to either of the weekends we've got loads of camping I really do think it'll be on we will post about it obviously uh, nearer the time but we've got two months so it should be on whether we're going abroad who knows but uh, yeah free fest should be on Anyway, <laughs> and I've just read Oliver's, uh, okay, the description just sounded familiar. What what a cliff that you had to climb down to get in the water. That's that's a general description of a no tanks free fest location. Okay, so please um, bring, a, bring a question, post it early tomorrow so that I know I've got some questions to answer. And I will see you tomorrow. We'll have question and answer and then we'll run an exercise as well. So thank you very much. Um, thanks for sticking with me. <laughs> no, no, everybody hasn't left yet. So, so stick with us. Thank you for sticking with us. And I'll see you tomorrow night. 7.30. Any questions outside free diving or personal questions, don't hesitate to, mention, uh, to message me and I'll get back to you about them as well. So thank you.